Hey everyone, this is Owen with Motion Array, and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create neon text. Alright, let's get started. I'll begin by making a new composition, and I'll make it 1920 by 1080 2997, and I'll just go ahead and call this neon text. Then I'll hit OK. Inside my composition, I'll use the text tool, and I'll type out the word neon and then I'll scale it up appropriately. I want it to be pretty big and I'll center it to my composition. Now this is a free font that I found online. It's called Beyond, B-E-O-N, and it's right here on this website here and we'll leave a link to the website in the description below. Now I'm just going to have the layer highlighted and go to Layer, Precompose, and I'm going to name this new composition Type and then I'll hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the transparency for my comp so I can see it on black. And then I'm going to duplicate this comp. And I'm going to call this Glow 1. And I'll go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Fast Box Blur. And I'll change the blur radius to 3. Then I'll change the blending mode to Add. Now I'll duplicate this glow layer one more time and I'll change the blur radius to 15. And you can already kind of see this glow take shape. I'm gonna add one more glow layer, but I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently. So I'll duplicate the type layer, and then I'll go to Layer, Layer Styles, Stroke. And in the Stroke settings, I will change the size to 20 and the color to that blue that we're using. Then I'll go to Layer, Precompose, and I'll make sure that I move all attributes into the new composition, and I'll name the new comp Wide Glow. Then I'll change the blending mode to Lighten, and I'll drag it below the type and go to Effect, Blur and Sharpen, Gaussian Blur. For my blurriness, I'm going to set that to 750 so that we get a big wide glow and I'll drop the opacity of the layer to 75%. The last thing I'll do is I'll grab all these glow layers and I'll parent them to the original type layer. The next step is getting that glass tubing look that's really nice and makes it look a little bit more realistic. To do that, I'm gonna duplicate the original type layer and I'll name the new layer Caustics and I'll drag this layer below the type. Then I'll go to Effect, Simulation, Caustics. Going down the settings here, I'm going to turn the bottom to none. I'm going to change the water surface to the type layer, and I'm going to change the surface opacity to zero. And I'm also going to twirl down the lighting, and I'll change that light intensity to zero as well. Back in the water settings, I'll set my water depth to 0.2, and I'll change my refractive index to 1.3. And that gives us that neon text look. Now we just need to animate the flicker on. To do that, I'm going to select all three glow layers and pull up their opacity with T. I'll option click on the opacity for glow one and I'll use the pick whip to attach it to the opacity of glow two. I'll do the same thing for the wide glow, but when I attach it to glow two, I'm also going to add a times 0.75 to the end of it. And that'll just keep it at 75% of whatever the value is for Glow 2, which is going to be driving these values. I'll move my playhead over to frame 10. And I'll set a keyframe for 0% opacity on Glow 2. I'll move five frames down the timeline and set another keyframe for 100%. I'll go five more frames. And I'll drop this down to, say, 30% five frames again, and I'll set it to 100%, five more frames, and I'll set this to say 65, and then I'll go five more frames, and I'll set it to 100%. I'll highlight all these keyframes, and then I'll right click on one and go to Keyframe Assistant Easy Ease, and that should give us our flicker. Now I'm going to add a color control layer so that we can easily change the color of the neon with just one simple control. So I'll go up to Layer, New, Null Object, and I'll name this Null Object Color Control. Then I'll go to Effect, Expression Controls, 
color control. In the effect controls panel, I'm going to go ahead and hit this lock button so that it stays there even if I click away from that layer. I'll double click to go inside my type comp and I'll twirl down that type layer and I'll add an animator and it's going to be a fill color. Then I'll option click on the stopwatch for fill color and I'll use the pick whip to drag it up to that value for the color control. Then I'll go back out to my neon text comp. I'm also going to go into my wide glow and I'll twirl that down till I get to my stroke and I'll option click on the color for that stroke. And I'll drag that up to the color control value as well. So now all the colors are attached, I just need to change the color. So I could go back and change it to my original type color and you can see it goes back like that. And I can just click and drag and it's totally adaptive. To finish the project off, I'm just going to add a background. So I'll go over to my project panel and I've already got an image in here. So I'll just go ahead and drag that in here and I'll go up to effect, color correction, curves, and I'll just darken it down a little bit. And that's all there is to it guys. Well, that concludes this tutorial. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did and you'd like to see more tutorials, please go ahead and subscribe because we're making new ones all the time. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.